in this video I'm going to show you how to use streamlit with machine learning so I've created this app which is called a genie which is a no code ML web app and in this video we can use uh, we can use a data set and create uh, algorithms develop algorithms and get the prediction files in just a few minutes so this is what I've been working on and this is what I'm going to show you I'll show you one demo and then we can move to the code okay so on the left you can uh, navigate to, uh, to which type of problem you want to solve so let's go with regression for now you have to read go through these instructions there are a couple of more instructions which I will be putting up again uh, later but these are the instructions that you need to follow uh, if you don't do that then uh, there are some errors that might uh, that you might come across okay so uh, the next part is you need to upload your data set so you whatever data set you have you can come here and upload it so i have one uh, data set that i uh, downloaded let's uh, work on that this is the data set it will print the number it will print the entire data set so this is the training data set right uh, and then we have the output column the next part is the data pre-processing so to pre-process -pro -pre your data you just uh, by uh, filling all the missing values using the mean click on mean and it is going to fill everything okay next if you want to do encoding then you just come and click on the encoding checkbox and it's going to encode your data so if you see previously we had a few columns and if I, if I go down now we have a lot many columns okay uh, next if you want to normalize the data so that they are within the same range we click here and this is a normalized data now we need to test uh, the same thing we, we need to do the same thing on the test data as well so let's uh, upload our test data file so when you upload your test data file whatever data pre-processing techniques that you had used before uh, the same will be applied to the test data automatically so you cannot change it change it okay so we get the normalized data uh, normalized data on the test one as well the next we have to choose our algorithm on which we wish to train so uh, right now i've given only three options the linear regression decision trees and random forest but uh, later on i will be adding more and i i can add more uh, freedom to the user so that they can uh, put the parameters on their own as well without writing any code so this is the linear regression one if i click here it will start uh, training the model using the data set that we uploaded and if you see it says model trained successfully and we get the trained uh, model and these are the prediction files so you can download the pickle file use it anywhere you wish to use it and you can also download the prediction file which is a csv file okay so this is for the regression this sim in a similar way you go you do it for classification as well and if i go to classification let me refresh if i go to classification it's a very similar ui and the same thing we're going to uh, fill the missing data and code normalize now i understand that uh, while working in data science you don't always uh, replace the missing data with mean but uh, I'm planning to add more uh, options here like median or more or maybe a regression algorithm just to fill the missing data as well. So these are the things that I'm still working on, but uh, that's the idea that I have. Okay. So the same thing for classification also. For classification, I have two algorithms, logistic regression and XGBoost. For XGBoost, I, I will be uh, adding a feature of put uh, doing a random search or a grid search to get the best parameters so i can do that uh, using streamlit and maybe later i will be adding that uh, on this app okay so this is what uh, genie does uh, it's still in the development stage it's just a prototype it's a poc i am not sure whether it would be scalable or not but i don't think so it would be scalable but it's a, a good poc okay now uh, let's move on to the code so this is the code uh, we have the main file and i'm importing all the libraries uh, in streamlit uh, we have the option of sidebar which you can see it over here this is the spy sidebar that i've created and the three four options that i have uh, i have not started with natural language processing yet that is something that that is going to take some time okay uh, 
and I have the welcome message which you saw the image so in Streamlit you can simply uh, upload an image by using st.image and just give the image and uh, it would be visible okay the header and the title using st.title and st.header okay uh, now let's understand what happens uh, if the user selects the regression box uh, regression uh, algorithm it's going to go to the details uh, class that I've created. Let's go to the details. It comes here and it is going to print the entire instructions that we have. Okay, I'm going to add more instructions here later on, but yes, right? So the next part is so this is how the details part is loaded. The next is the regression. Uh, I have created a regression class. So let's go to the regression class, which is in another Python file. I have imported all the libraries along with the uh, streamlet. I have two functions the function at the end and download and download the model and download the predicted file okay so this is the class that i've created i have a constructor and uh, this is the file upload logic to upload the file using streamlit okay so we have a, a streamlit file uploader function which does the uploading of the file so uh, i'm using that and to get the data to load the data and uh, when I upload the data, so if you observe when I upload the data Let me do that again So upload the data and if you see it's the trading data and it uh, Divides the data into output column also, right? So that that is the logic uh, that happens in uh, Get data or the load data file. So if I go over here I have the train data and the output column, right? So some of the instructions you need to follow is that the output column should always be the last column in your data set, then only it will work, right? So these are the, these are some of the instructions that you will find when you uh, start working on this platform, on this web app, I should say, okay? So that is, the, that is here and I got it uh, in this in constructor itself, okay? The next is the subheader. If you see the imputation, I'm writing a st.text simply and to create a checkbox we have a function checkbox with mean and here i'm using the missing data function now the missing data function is inside the processing class of the data pre data processing file okay so if i come over here you get the data you get the processing class and in that i have the missing data encoding and all these functions written Right. So when the user clicks on the checkbox, it's going to execute this particular function and that is how it writes here. So let's do, let's see that. I come here, I click on mean and it's displayed, right? So this every click is this if uh, condition being true and then uh, performing this missing data function, right? Similarly for encoding, I have the encode uh, checkbox for normalize, I have the normalize checkbox. Moving down, and this is the test file, which uh, this is the test data, which we are doing the processing again. All right, so this is where we choose the algorithm. So it says choose one of the algorithms to train your data. So what I've done is I've created four radio buttons so that the user can select only one at a time. When you click on the radio button, any radio button that you have selected will have this particular value. So if I click on uh, linear regression, I'll go the variable algo will have the linear regression value in it and i then i just put an if statement checking whether it's a linear regression decision tree or a random forest simple right after that i i've already imported the uh, libraries the algorithms before at the top uh, and we are going we are using sklearn here i have created an object on the uh, of the algorithm i'm fitting the data on the training data and the output column and I'm calling my download model function, which will download. Then the sim a simple predict function on the test data, since we have already calculated that before, and we get the output in the pipeline. I am simply printing that, putting it into a CSV file and giving you a link to download the CSV file of the predictions, right? So the same things, the same logic for all the other algorithms. This is the same. And for classification also, we will have the similar flow again, right? 
in this case we just call the functions that we have already created and use our algorithms and here we just have two algorithms as of now so this is how i used streamlit uh, to uh, to create this simple web app and it it doesn't work on uh, all the data set of course but it gives you an idea on how you can use streamlit in a larger scope uh, you can add natural language processing here you can add reinforcement learning image processing and a lot of other stuff using streamlit so this is what i tried with streamlit and i will i, I was thinking of adding more uh, features to it like uh, it will put the correlation map here it will it would put uh, some different visualizations like scatter plots histograms and stuff like that so that uh, the user can get more understanding about the data set without writing any code so the main idea about this particular web app is a person having no knowledge on python or any of the programming languages can still work on the data and get insightful uh, detail insightful data and draw conclusions so that is the idea behind this web app so uh, I, I have this github repository private as of now i will be making it public uh, after adding some more features and adding natural language processing also to this and after that i'll make this uh, repository public okay uh, if you wish to contribute to uh, contribute to this repository let me know you can send me an email uh, i'll put my email in the description below and you can reach out to me you can also reach out to me on linkedin all right so this is what i've made using streamlit so if you like a content please like share and subscribe thank you that's it for this video thank you